Hello, I'm Dr. Claudia Fedespicchiale. I'm a urology registrar at Policlinico Tor Vergata in Rome, and I'm going to talk about our study on intradetrusor injection of botulinum toxin A for detrusor of activity in an office-based setting, efficacy, safety, and cost-benefit analysis. I have no affiliations to disclose. Overactic bladder syndrome is defined as urinary urgency, usually accompanied by increased daytime frequency, with or without urinary incontinence, in the absence of urinary tract infection or other disease. It represents a serious medical and social problem, but also a very important economic burden. In fact, costs are expected to increase in the future in line with the aging of the population. For treating OAB, we have different possibilities. We go from conservative treatment to pharmacological to neuromodulation. But for non-responders patients, Botox intradetrusor injections are considered an effective and safe procedure. Anyway, there is a lack of studies on patient satisfaction and on the safety and efficacy of Botox performed in the urology clinic. The aim of this study, so, is evaluating patient satisfaction and rate of complication of Botox injections in the urology clinic. Uh, we also evaluated the clinical efficacy of the same procedure in theater and in the urology clinic. And we performed, finally, a cost-benefit analysis of the same procedure performed in the clinic and in theater. Here we can see the study design. Uh, we used uh, 100 units of Botox for idiopathic overactive bladder and from 200 to 300 for neurogenic overactive bladder. All our patients were certified with detrusor overactivity by a previous urodynamic evaluation. Uh, before the procedure, they had a negative urine analysis and urine exam. And, every, and, and in, anyway, they underwent antibiotic prophylaxis. This is our protocol in the urology clinic. The follow-up was at 15 days, three and six months. And here are our results. As we can see, Botox injection in the clinic are well tolerated by patients. The satisfaction is actually higher than in theater and the risk and of intra or post procedural complications is actually very low. No admissions were required after the procedure in the clinic. Also, our data shows show that uh, the procedure in the clinic is non inferior in terms of clinical results to the one in theater. Uh, coming to the cost analysis, um, Botox injections performed in the urology clinic allows the hospital to save between 800 to 1300 euros per procedure compared to the same procedure in theater. So, in conclusion, Botox can be safely administered in the urology clinic. Uh, our data shows that the procedure is safe and effective. Um, plus, Patient satisfaction seems to be higher when it is performed in the clinic, and it, uh, the procedure it even has a lower rate of intra- and post-procedural complications, and allows the hospital a strong financial saving. Thank you for your time and your attention. Any question is appreciated. Thank you very much.